You're like, oh, I wouldn't date a doll, and then all of a sudden... Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. I first met Aura and David Welsh at the 2018 Bay Area Maker Fair. Aura strolled up to the Matter Hackers booth, like literally pushing a stroller, and in the stroller was this doll. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little creepy at first, but I like a little creepy, especially when the details on this doll were so strikingly beautiful. Then I saw the doll's shoes. These shoes were hotter than any shoes I have ever seen, and I own me some shoes. And it made me super jealous that they didn't come in my size. So I asked her, as I do when people come up to our booth, what's your interest in 3D printing? And she's like, I make these dolls. These dolls are 3D printed. And then my head exploded. Turns out Aura and David are part of the Ball Joint Doll, or BJD, community. These are people all over the world who create dolls of all shapes and sizes with simple ball and joint snap joints at the elbows, knees, neck, ankles, and anywhere else a doll would need articulation to move. Ball joint dolls can be goth, punk, super cute like Legrand's Angel Doll. You can see the link to her video we did um, for her work in the link below. Um, anime, fantasy, couture fashion, everything in between. These dolls are awesome. Before 3D printing, David and Aura were feeling a little stuck creatively, but being able to develop shoes and crowns and doll scale weapons made their work more fun and rewarding, both personally and professionally. They got their first 3D printer back in 2015 and have since acquired an impressive collection, including a Prusa i3, Monoprice Delta, Monoprice Select Mini, and their most recent addition, a Pio Poly Moai SLA printer. This produces high quality precision pieces by curing liquid resin with a laser. Aura was introduced to the world of ball joint dolls when a friend asked her to help paint one because Aura had previously worked on painting sculptures. Before she even finished, she'd ordered her first doll and was hooked on the art form. They mostly use PLA for the dolls and have also created parts with regular and carbon fiber filled PETG, ABS, and wood fill. Once the parts are complete, they're sanded, primered, and painted to create the gorgeous finish you see here. Depending on the model, they design in ZBrush, Fusion 360, and 3D Builder. Like many in the 3D printing community, Aura would like to see earlier access and exposure to 3D printing and 3D design in schools to get the next generation excited about using the technology, especially young women and girls. Always leading the charge, Aura has her young daughter helping with their latest Halloween doll, which she named Pumpkey. That's the 3D Pink Mafia, yo! For more information on Aura and David's dolls, click the links below. Are you using 3D printing for a niche community that we don't even know about yet? Please leave me a comment, I'd love to hear about it. I'm Mara, and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.